Hey, what's up, Leo? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. How's it going? So I'm doing a Halloween reading for you guys. I'm going to be the, using the Witch's Tarot. So um, I just realized that I forgot to explain to Cancer like why I was wearing this hat. It's obviously a costume hat for Halloween. And uh, I just wanted to make sure and tell you guys like what the whole purpose of my hat was. But anyway, welcome to the channel. And I really hope that you enjoy this reading. So yeah, I'm just going to shuffle the deck a couple more times and we'll have a look at this tarot card spread, which is um, six card placement and it asks some really interesting questions. So we'll go through and pull out some cards and then see what messages we can get from uh, Spirit for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And of course, this is going to be a general read, but definitely let me know um, what you think of the read in the comments. And yeah, other than that, I hope you're doing great. And I'm gonna start kick, kick off the reading right away because I feel like I could just babble my face off and you know, that's not what you're here for. So the first card we're gonna look at, it asks you, um, it asks spirit like, who do you want to be? And this is called the costume. All right, so I'm gonna do a deck cut and we'll see a card here. So I've got the Page of Pentacles. So this is saying that you wish that you could be tuned into a more abundant life. You know, there's messages coming in here. You could be getting even messages from your inner child because when we see the Page card, it does represent that, um, that inner child within you, Leo. So really pay attention to that. Um, you know, when you were a kid, you probably knew exactly what you wanted to be as an adult and it was probably a whole ton of fun, you know? So there's something here to be interpreted and this is who you would like to be all the time. You know, some of you could be closed off or whatnot, but um, we'll just keep on pulling cards and see what else the tarot has to say. So the second card is like what drives and inspires you and it is called Possessed possessed so what drives and inspires leo um i love leos by the way just so you guys know there's this unstoppable energy in the ten of wands and wanting to complete the process you know there's no quit in leo there's just no quit in you so i i love this card is just that sense of accomplishment, that finishing the battle, that, you know, winning the game, winning the day. This is a very important energy for you, Leo. I just need a sip of tea, guys. Hold on for a second. All right. So the important thing about the Ten of Wands is that there's a realization that if you don't keep going, you'll never be successful. So this is a huge driving force for you you know, and to be able to tap into universal laws, there's more than just the law of attraction, you know, and, and get all these messages so that you can live your, your wildest life. You know, if you, um, if you've seen the sound of music, that's the kind of visual I was getting where Julie Andrews is sort of spinning around like, and the hills are alive with the sound of music because the whole universe is speaking to you constantly, but you might not be in a place where you're tapping into that vibration or the messages. So um, there's probably a little bit of work to do there, but let's keep pulling cards. The third one is says how to make life sweeter and the card is called candy. I'm really sorry, I'm trying not to do um, air quotes. <clears throat> So this card is the Two of Cups and it's all about your relationships and making them deeper. You know, if you've been distancing yourself from other people, it could be anybody, friends, family, a significant other, you know, there's, there's walls to be torn down. There's boundaries to be erased. Many of you could be single and waiting for somebody to come into your life. So this card is a really good indication that you're going to meet somebody that you don't have to explain your soul to. Nothing is more frustrating or lonely than being with a romantic partner or your friends and family for that matter, 
that don't get you at all and they just kind of look at you like you're a big fat hairy spider that crawled out from underneath the carpet you know and they just Ew, what did you just say you know so um i think that's a really important card and if you've been distant from people and um it might be time for you to start like really communicating with people again you probably feel a little bit better um could help you tap into that energy you know if you're listening to other people you could be able to pick up clues about how they were able to succeed in certain ways and what strategies they used especially if you've got really affluent people in your family um you know to see how they got there or people with really successful um relationships and marriages uh, both my grandparents were both sets of my grandparents were married for over 50 years and you know i can't even imagine that but that's what i see for you guys and once you find that person or that project or you know once you can access these doors you'll never stop until you get to the top leo and once again i'm being guided to tell you guys that you will be the first millionaire in your family. I have my spirit guides tell me that almost every single time I read for you. So um, I find that really fascinating. Uh, and I love it when you guys repeat that back to me in the comments because you're you're claiming it, you're speaking it, right? You're, you're agreeing with the, the universe. So uh, let's look at any ghosts from the past. And this is always an exciting card. And it's called Haunted, Ghosts from the Past. Like a certain inactivity here. Look at this guy. <laughs> Does anybody ever watch How I Met Your Mother and that time that, oh God, what's his name? Um, he's walking down the hall and he sees himself in the mirror. And he's like, oh, look at this meatball. Yeah, this is what I think um, when I see this card. He's just like a meatball standing there not doing anything. He's like, oh, this is heavy. I know I should do something, um, but I'm not going to because maybe I'm just emotionally detached or I don't know what to say or whatever. So, I mean, you went through a growing period, right? Um, and the... Why can't I remember his name from How I Met Your Mother? As I watched it like three times. But anyway, like seriously, all seasons. Um, just this, Marshall, whoo. Okay, so just you didn't act when you thought you should, okay? So this is probably haunting you and you're like, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I ask that person out? Why didn't I apply for that job? Go to that university, move to that city, all right? So, and you just stood there, you know? I don't know why, but you did. All right, so there it is. So what are you gonna do about it? And the next card is gonna hopefully answer that because it's called the RAP card and how to banish that ghost for good because this is not a good one. That sense of, well, like kind of kicking yourself for not taking action when you should have. <clears throat> this is really interesting. So we've got the seven of wands. So this is like actually tamping something down. And, and sometimes you just have to disconnect from that thought. Like when this comes up again, where you're, you're having that memory of like, oh, why did that happen? Um, why didn't I do blah, blah, blah? You're just going to have to go, all right, you know, we thought about this probably way too many times already. And thank you very much for popping by, but that's enough. We're going to carry on. The seven of wands is kind of looking down and he's actually got this stick and he's going to like poke that down. It's kind of like that game. Um, we call it the exhibition here where I live. And there's that game. They used to call it Bop the Beaver, which I thought was a scream. But anyway, uh, I think it was like Bop the Gopher or something like that. And the gopher would come up and you would have to try and hit it with this big fuzzy hammer. Anyway, it was super fun. But it's like that's what you're trying to do with these thoughts and try to tamp them back down. And it keeps popping up um randomly and you're like leave me alone already so you're just gonna have to be a little bit more forceful <laughs> oh my god i love that game i really want to play that game now but anyway um let's see fears and habits to let go of for you leo and this is called monsters and goblins all right i'll do a deck cut 
Nice. Okay. So stop being worried about that money coming in and where it's going to come from. You know, you, you don't have to do anything but think your way into your reality. And the more that you understand this, the easier it'll become for you. And this could be where this fear, like where this um, goal for the page of pentacles is, but it's in your DNA here, Leo, like just this sort of magnificent life, like whatever you can picture for yourself. And it's time to unleash that. Just really stop, stop holding yourself back. Stop kicking yourself for mistakes that you made in the past. Your mistakes are what made you. They were here to teach you a lesson, not like sit in the navigator seat for the rest of your life, you know, and you learned your lesson, move on, you know, really release any fear about developing wealth for you and probably quite a few um, series of descendants, you know, because the seven of pentacles is planting that seed, baby, and you can really take this high. Leo, this is a um, really cool reading for you. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I just wanted to say happy Halloween. And thanks again for being here, Leo. Namaste. Bye for now. Bye.